Praise the Lord, precious viewers. Praise the Lord. Today again is July 4th, 2019. And today um I have a blessed teaching um that I will I will um share with you by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. This the Lord has taught me um and I'm gonna share it with you. And I might not be able to to teach everything that the Lord has taught me for at this moment because there are different things that there's a many things that I could I could many ways that I can show you what the Lord has taught me um, in the scriptures there are different scriptures I can show you plus on top of that the Lord has been giving me dreams and uh, has been giving me dreams and visions about what he taught me as well and he shows and I also um, you will find these things also written in the scripture. So the Lord basically um, has taught me a lot about food. He has taught me a lot about food to the point where um, I could see the origin of the fall of men. The, the origin of the fall of men uh, uh, was uh, in food. You know, it was food. It was through food that men became sinners. It was through food that men fell in the Garden of Eden and got thrown out and then uh, uh, received a, a, a destiny that now is, is twofold. You know, now the destiny of men can either be heaven or it can either be hell. Before, hell was never in the equation. You know, hell was non-existent. Hell was was simply for the fallen, uh, for the fallen angel, and his um and his um his uh his uh other uh followers. You know, so, but the key I'm the point I'm trying to make here is that it all started out with food. Food in the Garden of Eden. Lust, lust came through food. It came by food. It was food. Um, the first lust, you know. Today we talk about sexual lust in the church, where people, where men are lusting after women, women are lusting after men, people are lusting after the the, the things of this world. They see a beautiful car, you know. They start lusting at that car and forget that the Lord had already gave them a car. You know, sometimes they lost at a beautiful house. They see a house, you know, they start lusting after it. And, and this be becomes the, the, the thing that, that grips their heart and becomes the idol in their heart, becomes a, what they start to chase. Instead of, and then they forget the Lord. They stop chasing the Lord the way they should be seeking the Lord, and instead uh, uh, change their focus to that house that they want, change their focus to that car they don't they want. They start to change their the eternal focus and make it a temporal focus. A temporal focus meaning like they start to seek the things of the earth, the things that don't last forever, instead of seeking the Lord, seeking the kingdom of God which is everlasting. So all this loss that we can talk about, about uh, that we see um, in the hearts of men, you know, you know, the loss of women, men lusting after women, women lusting after men, men lusting after men, women after lusting after women, all these perversions, sexual perversions, all these lusts that you, you see today, it all started out with the loss of food. You know, to understand the uh, the genesis, to understand the fall of man, to understand us as mankind, how we end up in this situation that we are in right now, where we have to fight, you know, constantly fight and battle for our salvation. We have to understand first and foremost where did it come from? Where did, where, how did we get ourselves in this situation in the first place? You know, and where, what, before we are here, where was men first? Where were men? Men were in heaven. 
they were in paradise they were in the garden of eden where life was perfect for them you know there was no need for them to to sweat to break a sweat for them to food, put food on the table there was no need because god provided everything in the garden of eden life was was more than easy you know life was more than simple you know life was very easy you know provision was very easy everything was easy there was no sickness in the garden of eden adam and eve never got sick in the garden of, of eden there was no sickness there was no no uh, suffering there was no sorrow adam and eve never fought each other there was no fighting uh, among you know uh, them you know husband and wife because today nowadays that happens but that that was not existing in the garden of eden because they were living a, a, a life uh, of holiness a life where they never sinned you know until they sinned then things changed but before sin came then life was perfect but the sin that came to them was through lust and this lust was the lust of food so that means that's the genesis of sin sin came about from lust it came from the lust of food and also um, unfaithfulness to the Lord as well because the not believing the Lord completely you know when the people don't believe the Lord completely the devil always find a way to to um to to instill doubt and and disbelief the devil finds ways to to make them sin because to make them fall to make them doubt because they don't believe the Lord wholeheartedly so that's the other thing that bring about the fall of men so today as you hear this word you know the word of the Lord that I'm speaking to you today you know make sure you believe wholeheartedly what you're hearing because the devil can always find ways. If he finds in your heart that you have a disbelief in your heart, just one little drop of unbelief in your heart, he can corrupt you. That's how come a lot of people these days are being corrupted. You know, they are being corrupted. They are, they are going into sin. Because of what? Because of disbelief. When the Lord, because of a single drop of disbelief. Because the, when the Lord tells them, this is a sin. When the Lord tells them, don't do this here. You know, this leads to uh, to hell. This leads to death. They don't believe. They may believe it to a certain extent, but there's still a part of them that don't completely accept it. They don't completely accept the word of God with their heart. They accept it partially. So that means there's room in their hearts for doubt. And so the devil, uh, the devil uh, 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 abuses that. The devil uses that. You know, the devil exploit that. He exploits it to the point where he can get them to sin and get them to break the laws of God. You know, so that's what happened in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve did not believe the Lord wholeheartedly. They did not completely believe the Lord. And so because they did not completely believe the Lord, the devil find room in their hearts, find a place in their heart where he could have uh, uh, plant a seed of doubt. And when he used that doubt that he planted in the hearts of Eve to cause Eve to eat the fruit, the unforbidden fruit. And then Eve also caused Adam to eat the unforbidden fruit. And so uh, when they ate the unforbidden fruit, because they had lust for that fruit as well, because Eve lusted after that fruit. The scripture says she sees that it was good for attaining wisdom. So with her eyes, when she looked at that fruit, she was lusting, the lust of the eyes. She was lusting after that fruit. You know, and then she ate it, and then that 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 was the end of 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 everything in the garden, you know. And the Lord told them, if they eat of it, they shall surely die, and that's how death came. Death came to this world. Death came to men because of food, because of the loss of food and the disbelief, the incomplete belief of God's word. You know, that means we got to believe the word of God completely. Otherwise, we are always susceptible to, uh, to, to doubting the Lord, to falling into sin. You know, that's what is uh, plaguing mankind today. Many times a word of the Lord, a word come from the Lord, you find that there are people that are going to church. They are Christians. They believe in the Bible. They believe in the Lord. You find that there are still people, even if they say they believe in the Lord, 
you still find there are people that when the word of the Lord come to turn away from a sin, you will find people still don't turn away from sin. They don't turn away from it. You know, because why? Because they don't believe it. There's a part of them that don't believe. You know, so the devil still using the disbelief in men's heart for uh, of God. So that's why the, the Christian can also be an atheist. A Christian can become an atheist. Why? Because when the word of the Lord says to not do A, B, C, D, they do they don't do such. They they don't they 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 do A B C D. When the Lord says don't do A B C D, they do A B C D. That means they don't believe it. They don't believe the Lord is saying this this. When the Lord says turn away from this sin, you know a part of them don't believe it. A part of them don't believe it's a sin. So then they continue to do it, you know, and hence they fall. And that's how they fall. That's how men fall. That's how they fell in the beginning, and that's how they keep falling. So today. I encourage you, precious believer, you know, to believe the word of the Lord. Believe with your whole heart the word of God that you read in the Bible. Believe it with your heart. Believe it with your heart so you don't fall into sin. So the devil don't take you to hell. When I say take you to hell because, you know, I say that because the devil causes people to sin. You know, uh, he sends disbelief. And then the people don't believe and then they go to hell. You know, if, if, if they don't repent of their sins. So I'm cautioning you today. I'm warning to you today with God's word, with the, with the love of the Lord. Believe the word of God completely, wholeheartedly. Don't doubt. Don't doubt the word of the Lord. So we read in the scripture that when you find, when you read the scripture, you find that food was the, it's all started out with food. The commandment that the Lord gave them was to not eat of a fruit. And then if they did, they would, uh, death was going to follow. You know, and that's what they did. They went and ate. And that's how come now we have death in the world. That's how Jesus had to come and die for us and die in our place so that we may have redemption, so that we may have eternal life. You know, that's why the Lord had to send his one and only son, you know, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross so that he may take away this death for mankind that came from the Garden of Eden, that came from Eve and Adam, eating the fruit, the forbidden fruit that the Lord told them not to eat. And because we all came from Adam and Eve, then that means we all partake of this, of this judgment. Except that we, 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 receive, uh, we, receive, uh, we receive his word today, his word that he has given us, that if we receive Jesus, you know, who took our death for us, and turn away from sin, all sin, and get baptized and get born again, then surely this death that was introduced in the Garden of Eden by Adam and Eve, Eve disobeying the Lord, then we will not, we will not uh, take part of that death. But instead, you know, although the body dies, our soul will live in the kingdom of God. And on the day of resurrection, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, we will be resurrected. Those who died holy in Christ, those who died receiving the word of the Lord and turning away from sin and got baptized, they will be resurrected and, and live, and they will live. They will not see eternal death. You know, they will see, instead see eternal life. You see? So it all started out on, uh, with food. That's the point I'm trying to make here. It all started out with food. So I, am, I caution you, precious listener, to, to believe the word of God completely. And the word of God warns about food. When you read the book of Proverbs, you find that a, a, a gluttonous son, that the, when you read even in the Old Testament, and even in, when you read, you find that the gluttonous, son, the gluttonous son, the son that is in gluttony, overeating, that the price for that sin is death. You know, in other words... Gluttony leads to death. You know, gluttony leads to death. Overeating. So the Lord wants to caution us about that because that is the door that opens. That is the gates of hell. That is where the door opens at. You know, that's where it started in the Garden of Eden. Gates of hell was opened through the loss of food. Now again, it is still, now again, it's the same thing. It did not change. The gates of hell are open through the loss of food. 
Because the lust of food brings the lust of the eyes. It brings every lust on this earth. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of this life. It feeds on sinful desires. It feeds on our sinful desires. Food, not overeating when we overeat and not fasting. That's what it does to us. It corrupts the soul. It corrupts the mind. It corrupts the Christian mind that God had received us, that God had given us. So that's why we have to very, be very careful with food. The scripture says to not be uh, enslaved. You know, we're not supposed to be enslaved by food. You know, food for the stomach, but in the stomach for food, and God will destroy them both. In other words, the Lord is saying that he will destroy the stomach. You know, he will destroy the food. He will destroy it. In other words, we have to make sure that we master our eating, that we don't become gluttons. You know, we eat... And uh, we eat with, 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 um, with, uh, with, uh, uh, uh how, how can I say it? We gotta eat in a way that is not excessive. We're not supposed to be gluttons, you know? Uh, so the Lord, the Lord has been talking about eating in the Bible. Eating in the Bible, you know? Eating in the Bible. Eating from the very beginning. You know, how Adam and Eve committed the sin that got us here on this earth now fighting to get to go back to heaven again you know they committed a sin and that sin was eating eating something they were not supposed to eat they were commanded not to eat now the lord commands us in the bible to not be gluttons and he also commands us to fast and that's in the scriptures and this fasting will help us to be delivered this will help us to get delivered from sexual lust from sexual immorality, from every kind of sin that you can take.